Four Season Hotel and Resorts. Found on 21st March 1961, Four Season Hotel and Resorts is a luxury hotel and resort organization that is more than 60 years old. The company has its headquarters in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It has more than hundreds of different hotels all across the world. Interestingly enough, the company has been owned by Bill Gates and Prince Alwalhid bin Talal since 2007. Now, let us take an insight into the history of the company from the very beginning. The origins trail back to Isidore Sharp, the man behind it all. Back then, Sharp used to work as an architect in his father's shop. After manufacturing a motel for some family friend, Isidore saw potential once he'd witnessed its success. He wanted to do the same, so he purchased a piece of land near Toronto and built Four Season Motor Hotel for business travelers in 1961. Marie Crawfler, Fred Eason, and Eddie Creed were amongst the first investors in this company. In order to expand the business, Isidore planned to open other hotels that include the famous Inn on the Park built back in 1963. This specific resort hotel was a $4 million double-story structure in suburban Toronto that hosted Canada's first-ever discotheque. The next greatest achievement for the company was when it opened up the Inn on the Park Hotel London in 1970. Once Sharp was approached by developers who wanted him to open up the hotel in London, he knew he had to complete the old-school luxury hotels already present in the capital. For this purpose, he kept big names like Claridge and the Connaught in mind. The architecture firm Adis was a lead consultant in this opening. However, as with any other big company, Four Seasons had to face downfalls as well. In 1974, due to mismanagement and cost overruns at the outlet in Vancouver, the company was almost led to bankruptcy. This made the organization shift towards a management-only approach in which they stopped purchasing more land and buildings. The next big step was the company going public in 1986. In the same year, Four Seasons Hotel Austin, a nine-story hotel on 2.3 acres of land on the Lady Bird Lakes North Shore, was built and made open for everyone. Next, in 1997, the same Four Seasons Hotel Austin became the first-ever hotel to have a high-speed wireless internet network, just after Wayport. The hotel also had the honor of hosting Queen Elizabeth II back in 1991 when she went to tour Texas. The same was taken for the Blackstone Group for a whopping $359.7 million way later in 2016 by the OnBang Insurance Group. As mentioned earlier, in 2007, Bill Gates and Prince Alwalhid bin Talal purchased 95% of the company for $3.8 billion. Sharp now owns just 5%. The business model of Four Seasons is such that they do not own any of their outlets themselves. It is real estate owners and developers on whose behalf the company is operated. Take the New York Downtown Hotel or the Las Vegas Hotel, owned by Silverstein Properties and Mandalay Bay Complex, respectively, as examples. What basically happens is that through an agreement between the company and property owners, Four Seasons has the authority to operate the outlet with all power and control and also participate in the design of the hotel's structure. As for the stats, 3% of the gross income is earned by Four Seasons. Similarly, about 5% of profits from all its operational properties are in the company's pockets. Moreover, it is required that the property owners pay extra money for chain-wide sales, marketing, and reservation systems. Also, Four Seasons Hotels have a larger staff's number than other competing companies. To make sure the management is smooth, each hotel has a separate reserve account that enables them to cope with all upkeep costs. Since the profit margins are relatively low, the company calls for developers through attractive traits with the hotel's reputation for loan resale and collateral. Through the money from the advertising revenue for the company, Four Seasons also produces a complimentary magazine for guests. A fractional ownership division of Four Seasons is the Four Seasons Residence Clubs. Are you loving this video so far? If so, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up. Be sure to share it as much as possible as well, especially with your friends who might be looking towards utilizing the hotel's facilities. Hit the bell icon so you never miss out on any stuff in the future. Since June 2014, Four Seasons Hotels and Resorts have been offering vacation rentals, known as residential rentals, 
The commodities are available in Costa Rica, Houston, Jackson Hole, Nevis, Punta Mita, San Diego, Whistler, Vale in North America. As for Africa, the properties are present in Marrakech, Mauritius, Seychelles, Charm El Sheikh, Cap Ferret for Europe, and Jimbaran Bay, Chiang Mai, Koh Samui for Asia. So, what exactly is the purpose of these rentals? Well, residential rentals provide the same services as the company's hotels and resorts in a residential setting. As for the inflow, customers are mainly people on a holiday and small groups of travelers. The first ever Four Seasons private residences dedicated entirely for this purpose were opened in London at 20 Grosvenor Square, Mayfair, back in 2019. Then, it was a third Four Seasons venue in London. According to the Travel Plus Leisure magazine, Four Seasons properties have been ranked amongst the top luxury hotels across the globe. Similarly, Condé Nast Travelers Magazine subscribers have supported the Tented Camp Golden Triangle situated in Chiang Rai, Thailand, as being among the top 10 accommodations in the world. Not once, not twice, but three times in a row. Don't think that's enough to convince you? Well, Four Seasons is included in the 100 Best Companies to Work For list by Fortune, standing 47th in the 2015 rankings. Thus, the company is not only good for customers, but extremely beneficial for employees as well. Four Seasons boasts about having one of the least employee turnover stats in the specific industrial category. As for the restaurant and its rating for dining, etc., Michelin and Zagat have both recognized Four Seasons hotels and resorts in recent years. Michelin, the more famous one, has awarded around 30 stars to the company's restaurants. These include those in Paris, Beijing, Florence, and Hong Kong. This also shows the company's uniformity in providing the same quality service throughout the world. Let's see how Forbes Travel Guide reviews the company. Just last year, 61 different properties got a 5-star rating, which made the brand have the most 5-star ratings ever. Even if you are willing to spend your honeymoon on a lovely spot, Four Seasons can be a perfect choice. TripAdvisor, an online travel company, seemed to agree when they named the resort Bora Bora as the best hotel for romance in the entire world. In the end, let's discuss a bit about Four Seasons' efforts in different philanthropic programs. The company has always supported sustainability, community building, and furthering research on cancer. In fact, Terry Fox Run was established in 1981 with Four Seasons as one of the founders. The foundation has risen to become the largest cancer fundraiser. They have accumulated more than 750 million Canadian dollars. Similarly, back on June 19, 2002, the Canadian Opera Company disclosed the donors of their new opera house. It was Four Seasons. The house hosted the National Ballet of Canada, which was the company's Center for Performing Arts in Toronto. They have not held back on environmental conservation as well. The Maldives Resort collaborated with local organizations like Seamark Marine Savers in order to preserve coral reefs by reimplantation. In this regard, a huge number of coral frames were transplanted on the reefs in the outskirts of the resort. Many guests sponsored this activity and Research carried out by the scientists later on showed evidence of a boost in tropical species and ecological activity. So, what are your views on Four Seasons Hotels and Resorts? Would you consider staying at any property? If so, why? Let us know in the comments down below. Once again, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video. Smash the bell icon for notifications on our channel. Take care, and we will see you all tomorrow. Peace!